Hello everybody, Samba here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Alsamore. In today's episode, we're actually going to be working on this lake area here and the plan is to make it into a bit of a touristy area, some cafes, bars, clubs, and most importantly, a lot of beachfront space. So a lot to do, and I know I say that in every episode, but yes, there is a lot to do. So first of all, I wanted to flatten out the the area for the beach so i didn't want it to have such a huge drop off in the water so basically i just tried to smoothen it out a little bit i don't know if it really did too much but i like to think it did <laughs> i like to think it did a little bit of something so the roads throughout this area they are not going to be the same as the rest of the city so we already have the tram and you can see i'm placing down tram roads that actually have parking on them as well and later on we will put the parking lots on all of those so there's going to be the, there's going to be these parking lot tram station roads around we're also going to be using this road here which is a bit of a tree parking boulevard style and i just used the generic tree for this one i could change it but i didn't really i didn't think i didn't think to change it for some reason um we don't actually build up in this area so you'll see there's sides that I don't build on and also the back of this area I don't build on as well so really we're just building along the the main tram line which is where all of the tourist space is going to be and keeping in with the theme of the rest of the city is the the roads so the roads ugh, they have to be wavy they have to be wonky because if we suddenly just went into like a real grid in this inner area it wouldn't look right so we have to make sure everything is wavy and wonky yes i'm doing some more parking i thought that was quite important because maybe there's a lot of people coming to the beach and you know what having parking i say this all the time but having parking really makes such a difference because it makes the the area look more alive it makes it look like it's being used and it's actually just nice to see people walking to and from their car going to the parking lot, parking their car, etc. It just makes it look really, really good. I didn't want to put in any actual parking buildings because I think that looked a little bit too out of character. I did try it, it just didn't really suit the area. Now along here is actually going to be the main area. So where it curves there on the side of the screen, I'm also going to add in more parking lots along there. This is also where the tram is now is actually a tram station. Well, kind of in the middle of that little segment there. It's a tram station because like I said, this is going to be one of the, the real main areas. But the difference with this parking lot is the, the parking lots are on, on an angle. And I, there's not really any reason why I did that. I just wanted to do something a little bit different, but the parking lots here, they are, a little bit wonky sometimes they overlap sometimes they don't look that symmetrical whatever you want to call it. it just sometimes it just doesn't look that great but once all the cars actually come in it's really hard to see where it isn't consistent you can see there like some of them don't line up properly but like i said when all the cars are in there you don't really notice it too much and it's such a tiny little detail i was trying to hide some of the ugly segments with those other lined parts and then i also tried to connect some of those empty spots with an actual white line which you guys will see in a second um i just i do one on the other side here just 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 to try to make it look a little bit more connected uh, even though it's such a tiny detail it, it makes me feel a bit better now let's go away from the roads for a second and come over to like the building style so the building style it's still going to be like the rest of the city there's still going to be the same old grayish brick style building but as you can see here we're also going to be having some high-rise buildings so we're going to have high-rise tourist buildings high-rise commercial buildings and high-rise residential so there's still going to be a really big mixture it's not going to be just a tourist area like it's still going to be a functioning area the only thing we don't have is industry but there is industry not too far away on the other side of the highway where the tram depot is now this is one of the main areas i thought let's put in a few little stalls some uh seating areas so you can see i put in some pillars there to kind of show where all of the people will stand versus where the road is not really necessary but i just thought it looks good anyway <laughs> 
this back road up here, I actually update that to just the pedestrian friendly road because I don't want cars to be going around there and I want it to all look like it's one big plaza area. Um, so I try to hide that road as much as I can throughout this video. So I'll add in little seating areas, I'll add in planters and I'll add in some shop front things as well which you will see one thing i think i do include it as well i put in a, put in a lot of decals i think that's how you say it decals decals where you can see like the the plaza there it kind of looks a little bit grungy so you can put down like cracks in the the cement you can put down like dirt and things like that and i did that just because it makes it look a little bit more used and a little bit realist more realistic So I'm just putting in some of the, the filler buildings. Uh, there's still a lot of these multi-style buildings throughout this whole area. And I think if I didn't actually include those in this area, it would be like, whoa, that looks really weird. Because we have to keep in mind, this is supposed to be an older style city. So that's why the roads are really wavy and wonky. And that's why all of the buildings are really compact. So I like to think that once upon a time, this area, it was just an ordinary area like the rest of the city and it wasn't actually a tourist area and then eventually for some reason uh all of these high-rise buildings started popping up above all of the maltese buildings and it suddenly become a more touristy area so that's that's kind of like the vibe that i'm going for uh, i don't really want to build all the way along the beach i don't want to have a beach all the way so that's why i put in a bit of a a wall there and we don't actually build where that wall is we actually stop there but you guys will see that but like I said, we there's going to be areas at the front, left and right of this whole area that are not filled in yet. Just because I didn't want to do all of it in this video. If I do a lot in one video, I feel like it's too much and maybe I rush it a little bit. Now this is actually a big pedestrian pathway, which I think really suits the area. It's just a gravel style. They can walk, they can cycle on it. And I left all of these spaces between the road and the pathway because I wanted to put in little fencing, fenced off areas and really just fill it in with some shrubs, bushes like this, and uh, I think some flowers, but they're not as noticeable, and also some palm trees, lots of palm trees throughout this area. Also can't forget all of our little beach items so I have the lifeguard uh, facilities kind of just all along the beach and we we're going to have some little uh, towels we're going to have some of these little beach umbrella areas and I also put in some people generators throughout this whole space uh, I put some on the beach so what the people generators will do it'll attract them to that area which will make the area look like it's being utilized even though they're just practically standing there but it it makes it look it makes a huge difference by having the people generators so you'll see a lot of people everywhere it's just from the people generators so these buildings i'm putting in here these are actually the proper tourism buildings from in the game so these are the vanilla buildings but i didn't want to put in too many of those because a lot of them look too modern and new for this actual city. Maybe when we do the other city, we can use more of the vanilla buildings because they, they're more fancy and bright looking, but most of them did not fit in with this, this style. So I had to really, really do a mixture of pretty much commercial residential and some of the tourist buildings. And then of course the Maltese buildings on the bottom. And another really important thing that I should mention is how I set up the commercial area. So along the bottom, on the ground level, it's going to be these buildings here, which are the actual in-game, the vanilla bars and clubs. And I don't know what else there is, but I put them along the ground. And then eventually I come along and on top of those, I put on the Maltese buildings 
and then maybe a high-rise building on top just to make it look like there's a bit more depth to each building and a bit more going on because we want to utilize all of the space because the city it is very compact and we want to have lots of use in every single little bit of space also ended up adding a few more a few more trams for this tram line that goes through here uh, in the most busiest area the central tourist area the tram station you'll notice is very very compact there's a lot of people waiting there and I believe when I looked it was it was about a hundred which isn't a lot but for that little tram station it looked like a lot so I added in I think two more trams in this video it still looks like there's not enough trams but uh, that's just because the trams haven't gone through and fixed up the the problem so we're coming towards the end of the video where we're just putting in a few more little props and assets uh, I really love this one right here that I'm putting down because it's just one single little plaza that has the little umbrellas, it has the seating areas, it has the planters, it has little billboards, it just looks really cool and it, it, it's just really easy, quick and it looks great to put down. Up here is where we have the seawall and it's actually where we will stop building for this video. I don't particularly know what else I'm going to be doing beyond that area so that's why I just left it. A little bit of a plaza here, nothing too fancy, just a few planters and then some plants on the inside and I also put down some uh, people generators just to make it look like it's being utilized and looks and to make it look like something is actually going on. Alright you guys, so we're coming towards the end of the speed build. There's not really much else I want to say. Uh, once we jump out of this, we'll go have a look at everything, have a good cinematic look at it all. And um, I also added in some neon lights, some signs, some billboards, and also just lights in general to make it look better at night. So thank you guys for watching and let's have a look at how it all looks at the end.